Hello, this is Joe Pryor with the virtual real estate team.com in Oklahoma City. And uh, this is the fifth in a, a series uh, that we're doing for first time home buyers in the Oklahoma City area. Now, the first couple of videos, we did an overview. We, we started with our first meeting and we went to closing. And now we're filling in the blanks. So I've done one on our first initial meeting and building your financial future, how important it is, important it is to get the numbers right. And then the second one that I did in this later series is about who pays closing costs. And now what I want to do is go into the inspection phase and talk a little bit about inspection so that you understand that. When we do a contract, one of the contingencies that we have in a contract is condition of property. And in that, we negotiate a particular dollar figure. In other words, we say, well, not only do we want it at this price, not only do we want to have the closing cost paid this way, but we also want to put a dollar figure on repair cost, if any. And really, it depends on the kind of house you're buying. I mean, if it's a brand new house, obviously, then we don't have a repair allowance, but we're talking about existing homes, which is typically what a first-time home buyer buys. And normally that home is three years old, five years old, maybe it's 50 years old. And so there's two types of inspections that we want. First of all, there's what's called a pest inspection, and the second one is a whole house inspection. Now, the pest inspection is one that's primarily geared to termites. It's really what we have here in Oklahoma City. Now, there are other kinds of certain types of ants and uh, insects that can eat wood, but primarily in Oklahoma, termites are the problem. And termites start in a home when you get the torrential rains that we get all at once. You start loosening up and moistening up some fiber, and all of a sudden the termites think that they just came to a smorgasbord, and they start eating things. And normally a termite is something that you see. Now, when we do the inspection on the termite, we get a licensed person. It usually costs about $75 to $100. And what they do is they look for a couple of telltale signs. Now, termites are something that they create tunnels. Uh, and so what you're going to do is you're going to see the tunnels and very often you're going to see the dirt. I've seen it uh, on back patios, front porches. I've seen it in garages, uh, in utility closets. I've even seen them in cabinets in the kitchen. Uh, and all of a sudden you see this mound of dirt. Uh, I've seen them uh, in uh, where they're around the vents because sometimes maybe that's where around the venting is where they can, they can come in. And then sometimes we see pinholes that are going up the walls. Now, we want to do two things. First of all, we want to ascertain if any damage has been done. Because now termites kind of start out with some fiber and really they kind of go into, you know, eating the, the sheetrock and maybe the paint. But they don't really get into the structural part, into the wood unless they've been there for a long time. Now, rarely, if ever, have I seen a house in my 21 years that way, but I have seen them. And so we want to ascertain if they're active. Had they been treated before? Because we can tell if the, if the house has been treated, but even if it has been treated previously, if there's something that shows current infestation, it has to be treated, and it has to be treated the whole house. You don't just treat a corner of a house because you want them to leave the house completely. You don't want them to go to from one corner to the other. So we do a whole house treatment. Now, that's normally at a minimum about six or $700, and we can deal with that in the contract. Then we go to the whole house inspection. Now, we have licensed inspectors in the state of Oklahoma. I think maybe for five or six years we went in finally into a licensing law. And if they've been inspecting for a long time and they've had a lot of inspections, then certain parts are grandfathered in. But there is an education procedure, there is a testing procedure that these people have to go through. Now, a lot of them used to be probably involved with home builders. Very few of them are licensed people, honestly. There, a few of them are licensed plumbers, maybe. But most of the time, they have a good working knowledge of all the aspects. And what they're going to do is they're going to, first of all, look at the roof, just like your insurance company will. But they're going to look and see if the roof is insurable, as it have a tremendous amount of hail damage, is there more than one layer, things that could really be a problem. Then they're going to look at the foundation of the property. They're going to look at the brick or the frame inside and out. They're going to see if we have normal movement, which we have in the state of Oklahoma because of our heavy clay soil and around the Oklahoma City area, or if there's some structural problems, which means things are moving pretty fast. Now that also can be due to drainage, which is something that they evaluate. For instance, if you have a drain that's kind of you know, going down towards the house, 
uh, then uh, in terms of the slope, it can be a problem, and maybe that also has to be corrected. So they look at that. They look at the foundation, which is usually the stem wall. Now, if it's a conventional floor, they're going to go underneath the house and look at the support beams. Then they're also going to look at the plumbing, all the plumbing, all the electrical. They're going to look at the central heat and air system. Now, they're not going to test for cosmetics. They're not going to look for cosmetics. There's a scratch on the wall or something like that. That's not considered something that's fundamental. So what they're going to do is they're going to look for the important stuff. And then what they're going to do is they're going to go into a book type thing that tells them, all right, this is a $100 repair. This is a $500 repair. And then what's going to happen is they're going to total that up and they're going to say, all right, Joe, uh, you need to tell your buyer, and you're normally there at the inspections, that that $1,000 you put into the contract, the seller's responsibility, is fine or that it's not enough. So if we have $800 worth of repairs, then we're fine. Then the seller does the repairs previous to closing. If we have more than $1,000, even if it's $10, then the co contract is subject to renegotiation. Now, I know you're not going to walk away for $10, but what you're going to do is you're going to say, I want all these repairs done. So anything over the amount is subject to renegotiation. That's something you and I will decide. If you've got a smoking deal in the house, you may go ahead and say, well, go ahead and do the thousand and I'll take care of the other 200 or 500 if you're getting $20,000 in equity. But we're going to look at the situation and we're going to do what's in your best interest. So now we've had the inspections and I just want to let you know what happens. Now, what we're going to do is have those repairs done previous to you signing on the dotted line. We want to see and re-inspect. We want to do a final walkthrough to make sure they're done. Another thing that I would do for you as your agent, as your realtor that's representing you, is that if it requires a license, then only a licensed person should do that work. I don't want handy men off the street. I don't want a homeowner saying, oh, you know, I read a book on this. I went to Home Depot and took a class. No, I'm sorry, because those people we can't go back to. We want licensed and bonded in people in their field to do the work because they're going to give like a 90-day warranty on their work and they're people that you can call back and say, hey, this wasn't done completely to satisfaction. You need to come back. I want to make sure that you don't have a heartburn about the inspection repairs after the fact. Now, I'm going to be getting into appraisals next. Uh, and one thing I'm going to say just up front right now is appraisers can also set requirements. FHA and VA have always been able to do that with their appraisers if they see something that they need to be done. And boy, those have to be done. Otherwise, you can't close. Now, even in conventional, we're seeing that right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a list of inspectors because I don't want to shoehorn you into one person thinking that somehow we're colluding together to make this deal work. I'm going to give you some really good licensed people to make you make the decision. I want this to be yours on the pest inspection as well as the whole house inspection and we're going to ensure the fact that those repairs are done properly and we're going to re-inspect for you ever go to the closing table and possibly we're even going to call that inspector back so that he can check things out. So that's inspection repairs. Next stop is the appraisal. So that'll be in the next video. Until then, this is Joe Pryor with the Virtual Real Estate Team where we deliver traditional real estate values with the speed of technology especially for first-time home buyers.